it seemed like each day they'd have more and more uncovered here and uh it's 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 something <laughs> On the corner of Front Street and Water Street in Washingtonville stands a weathered building in the middle of a demolition site. That building is actually a log cabin presumed to be from the 1800s. The cabin was discovered in January when a demolition crew was tearing down a condemned bar. It was almost unfixable. It would have taken uh, approximately $95,000 to bring it up to code. When the bar was still open, it was just these four beams that were exposed. People had no idea that there was more behind the wall. After the contractor started uncovering this, it's like, oh my gosh, this is insane. The bar was essentially built around this cabin. A local contractor determined that the building was antique based off of the materials it was made with. Also, the cabin was constructed using a technique that was commonly used over 200 years ago. Dombrowski says it could be one of the first hotels in the area. It was, this was quite a bustling little community years ago. He says there was a lot of uprising by Native Americans during that time. The settlers and also people that would stay at the hotels were thinking they would have built a hotel the first hotel close to the uh, fort and the blockhouse so that uh, people could take refuge. So what's next for the historic cabin? Dombrowski says it will have to be taken apart for now. Each piece of wood will have to be numbered uh, and it'll have to be stored in a dry environment until we can get funding to reconstruct it and we're not sure how much of the material from the building is going to be salvageable. The borough is waiting to hear back from the federal government to see if they will receive funding to reconstruct it before the borough council decides the cabin's next steps. It'll take approximately $90,000 to reconstruct it on a small scale. To do it properly would be about $180,000. But Dombrowski hopes to rebuild and relocate the cabin that hosts some of Washingtonville's history. He says anyone interested in donating money for its reconstruction can do so through the Central Susquehanna Community Foundation. In Washingtonville, Rafe Janaswamy, Eyewitness News.